Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this Land Rover 90 2.5 petrol that you can see lurking behind me here. Uh, two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the uh, beginning of the driving video. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Land Rover 90 2.5 petrol with power steering. Finished in marine blue with uh, white roof. Fitted with, it's got front A bar with extra lights on it. It's got checker plate on the bonnet and the wing tops. And it's got Weller 8 spoke wheels with uh, um, knobbly tyres. Mud flaps all round, tow pack. And inside it's got three seats across the front and two twin benches in the back, I suppose making it a seven seater. And as I say, it has got power steering this one. Just come into us from uh, an elderly chap that kind of rescues Land Rovers for a living. Um, and that's what he's done with this one. Um, the chassis does appear to be really excellent on it. Um, and he's repainted it, has to be said. The repainting is functional, shall we say. But most importantly, he's done a complete sort of uh, engine rebuild on it. Uh, I'll have to go through what he's told us, but um, has rebuilt the engine. And uh, yeah, it nips along smartly. And so it's quite rare to find a 2.5 petrol these days. Um, I'm not going to go through every blemish. Suffice to say, you know, it does look its age and it's been painted seemingly half rolled and half brushed. But um, it is what it is. And there's a bit of overpainting here and there and what have you but uh, we'll, we'll look at it with a you know with an understanding eye shall we say because uh, the most important thing is its structure um near side wing has got the usual dent in the corner here um let's first of all let's have a look under here at the near side it's got new turrets on it as i can see Oh, we go there, A post, and up here the usual dent in the A post where the door has moved into it. Scuttle corner, and across there. Screen that's got the correct ribbed roof on it. Near side door has a crease in it along there, and another smaller crease there. And these are the early lift up handle doors. Um, a bit of bubbling just on the front of the door skin just there. And it's obviously had some sort of repair because there's rivets on the outside at the bottom. So I suspect the bottom frame has been... Bottom frame is actually pretty good. Can't feel any nasties there, but you can see where it's been let in just up here. Um, the seat box is all as it should be. Seats, apart from the middle seat, having a split in the very top of the backrest just there and a few marks and stains on it. Um, passenger seat is actually reasonably good. I see the driver's seat, whilst the cover is good, it has got some blue paint on it. <laughs> um, original front head lining, which is sagging somewhat and a bit grubby. Uh, twin benches in the back, no head lining in the back as is normal. Dash top isn't cracked or split. A couple of extra features been let in there, phone holder and things. And you can see up the side of the dash there. Near side rear wing, we've got a dink just there, and the usual Land Rover crease in the near side rear corner just down there where it's back, been backed into something. A few runs in the paint, a few bits of touching up. As I say, it's not going to win any concours competitions, this one. But as you can see, its chassis does bear out what he was saying. Nice to see it's not been covered in anything nasty either. Um, around the tail end, Again, a few bits of touching up and stuff here and there. Let's open this up. Um, rear door card has seen better days, but the door frame itself, actually fine, no problem. 
Um, so twin benches in the back, that's our mount for our camera when we're driving. Ignore that. Um, carpet, which is fixed down in the back of it. Or this, actually, this isn't fixed down, this, so that, that could come out the under, under rubber. Um, and then carrying on round again. So it could have been painted a bit more carefully, I think. Um, looking down the offside, not much in the way of dinks and dents there. Strange checker plate here just below the fuel filler. And then again under here. Driver's door. A couple of touched in areas down the bottom there post and up around the scuffle corner offside front wing We've got a bit of mismatched paint just there and then under here Inside, this door hasn't been repaired, but the door frame actually feels pretty good under there. Although the door card is a bit ragged at the front corner, but you can't buy these um, lift up door cards anymore. Dash, show you down there. Got the proper steering wheel on it. Showing 137,000 miles. As I say, driver's seat is quite nice. There's a couple of spots of blue paint on it. Um, there we go. It's a it's a nice usable little 90. Easier to drive than a series, certainly, especially with power steering and disc front brakes. Anyway, um, hope you like it.